So, first of all, I want to say thank you again. I can never say thank you enough for you all taking time to watch our videos um, and for subscribing to our channel. Um, so if you're new to the channel, please hit that like button, subscribe, and uh, ring that bell so you can be notified of the new videos that come out. And whether you are a new subscriber or whether you're a new uh, whether you've already subscribed please in the comments type I subscribed give Minnie and I an opportunity to personally say thank you to each and every one of you okay a lot of you are longtime friends um, family and you know a couple of people we just met on the road and we really appreciate y'all and would like to personally thank you. So this video is a compilation video. Things we did at Fort Pickens um, that didn't make uh, a video by itself, um, but it's still a good video. Um, I hope you enjoy, okay? And at the end, when I come back, let me know what you thought. Thanks. See you then. But um, we did find some blue crabs. We had to drive all the way to Destin. It's quite a, uh, I think a few other places have them as well, but we just couldn't find any in the um, Gulf Breeze area. So we got our blue crabs. We're going to go home and have ourselves a little crab ball. Oh, I don't know. We're going to go home and have <laughs> We're going to have ourselves. We're going to go home and have ourselves a crab boil. <laughs> Score. Show everybody what a crawfish look like. For those that don't know. Like a little lobster. A little, little lobster. <laughs>
Okay, so it has been confirmed. We just got word by the uh, manager over at the um, volunteers. It's been confirmed that we are going to evacuate and we're going to a group site in Gulf Breeze. So we're packing up now, uh, getting everything together, folding up rugs. And um, hopefully we, we shouldn't take that long because we, I mean, we don't have too much stuff all over the place and everything. And plus we have the extra vehicle, which helps to put a few things in. So yeah, we, we should be ready to leave really soon. So. So we could go over there and <laughs> get set up. And what did she say? She said on Sunday they're going to reevaluate things. Yeah, so and we'll. And then see if we'll be able to come back or not, depending on the um, the surge from the. Yeah, because it's supposed to. We're looking at six to eight inches of rain, and then um, we're looking at high tide. And when high tide hits, it's salt water on the road. Traveling through that salt water can cause corrosion to your vehicle and to your RV and to, you know. So we're evacuating the campers tomorrow morning, um, getting them out by 11 o'clock. And then we have to be out no later than 1 o'clock. But mm. I can assure you it'll be well before 1 o'clock. I, I think a good idea. <laughs> Maybe we should drive the van over there and leave it, and then I come back and we both ride in the truck and trailer together. It's not that far. <laughs> We can do that. Drop it off. If it's unlocked. Time. Yeah. Because they have to unlock it yeah. too. So. so. Okay, here we go. And we made it to Gander RV. Hopefully they'll have the uh, generator we need. Yeah, lost car. <laughs> So we had to go get a new debit card because somebody lost the card. They don't, they don't need Wait to know a who it was. I leave and go out of town. They don't for need to know who days, lost the card. And I come back and the card is gone. Mm. Imagine that. We wanted right, to see if side. they have this generator we need. Yeah. Yeah, if you want to, you know, put it in to make sure everything is good. You know, it's a return? Um, I don't. It looks like it may be. It looks like it might be a return. And with all sales final. <laughs> yeah, since the box is damaged, I can take 10% off of it. Let's see. I'm missing off of it, too. You got some fuel in there. Huh? I don't know. The little box is probably going to open. It looks like a steel one. You know. No, it's not a usual thing. It's some fuel in there, right? I doubt it. It's brand new. It's new. I'll still take 10% off for it. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. Ooh. Okay, all the papers are there. Okay. So this is the 30 amp, but we're going to use it anyway, right? Yeah, I mean, it's going to be easier to charge the batteries. Yeah, we're not going to run two air conditioners. It'll run one air conditioner, the small one. Look, it's hot. Huh? You know what? You know what? I don't even know why you're playing. Because sooner or later, you're going to be hollering at how hot it is. Talk about it. I'm going to die with it. Okay. Hey, what's that? I bought you a present. Oh, that's so cute. I know that's more for you than it is for me. It'll hang on the shepherd's hook. Oh, that's cool. All right, good morning. So we, morning. we're at our, um, what's it called? Evacuation site. <laughs> we're at the evacuation site. Yeah, we came over to headquarters parking lot and uh, they have some some uh, RV spots here. So we decided to pull them here. 
and I'm sure this isn't going to be our first time having to run away from a storm or some bad weather, but no. at least we're ahead of the game this time. Yeah, because we're, these were our, we're on our off days, so we decided to go ahead and get the RV out early, and now we're getting ready to head back into the park to help evacuate everybody else. Yeah. I mean, it's not like, it's not like, you know, hurricane evacuation where it's, it's deadly. Mandatory. Or, you know, I mean, it, it is mandatory. For that, the park. Yeah, for the park, but not for the city, you know. And, but, you know, so we're going to go back and just try to light a fire on the people, help light a fire on the people, get them out of the park, you know, because you got people there who are acting like they don't want to leave the park or like they don't have to leave the park, you know. And the fact of the matter is, they said, you got to go, you got to go. So anyway, we're on the way to do that. I'm um, going to stop by and get some breakfast from Benny because he got to have his food this morning. And I had breakfast this morning. I had some Jamaican breakfast this morning from my friend Jennifer and Carl. Thank you guys. Appreciate that. Um, very good. <laughs> so I didn't say very much for him. So he let, no. me, go on. He let me go on and have the rest no, of it. And it was good. It was good. You know, it tastes like greens. It was nice and it was spicy. It had a nice little spice to it. I didn't eat much of it because she was all the way in the bowl, both feet. <laughs> so. This is what the park looks like once um, the evacuation has started. Most of the people are already out. But some people took time to go to the beach this morning with the kids and with themselves. And we know that that's what they did because they have on their bikinis and swim trunks and wrap it with towels. Come on, y'all going now, get it. All right, it's here. We have went out for a walk at our boom docking location to uh, see the seashore here. And as soon as we got back, this happened. Catch the door, make sure it closed. Come over. Okay, you got it? Here we go. Well, the most I'll go is knee deep, even though I can see the bottom because I'm out here by myself right now. And it's not safe to be, for me, I don't think that it's safe for anyone to be around water without 
someone else being there, especially if you're going to be in the water. So it's not worth it. We'll catch him later. Anyway, it looks like someone has been out this morning before I came out this morning because I see dog tracks everywhere. Look like the dog was playing and having a good time. Big dog. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Is that not sad? So you come out here and you bring your dog and you got a fresh poop bag and you just throw it here on the side instead of taking it with you to the trash. That is so not right. All this beautiful place and a green poop bag here on the ground. We'll come back later with our um, picker uppers, me and Lee, and we'll pick up this trash and we'll take care of picking that up as well. This is why there should be no pets on the beach. It's stated right here on the sign. And then people go to the beach and allow their dogs to poop on the beach and leave it.
you all enjoyed the video once again leave your comments below let us know if you liked it or not um, you can also do that by clicking that like button subscribe ringing that bell um, this is the last uh, well I do have one more video that I want to do a walk around the the uh, RV park and that will be the last video about Fort Pickens Everything else will be about four pickings will be viewed in my rearview mirror. <laughs> um, we do have some uh, exciting videos coming up. The uh, very uh, well asked for RV tour is coming, um, and also RV newbie equipment, things you want to take on your very first trip. Um, and then things that uh, I bought just because I wanted to have them, but are useful. So, uh, look forward to those videos. Keep watching, and we will see you all on the road. Until then, bon voyage, everybody.